You can never have too many accessories. In this video, we'll be talking about the Cam Kicks Accessory Starter Kit. This is a killer kit for folks that are just getting started with action cameras. In fact, it may even have some parts here and there for some of you folks that have been doing this for quite a long time. So the way this product review started was I contacted Cam Kicks and asked if they could help me out and put together a starter package for folks that are just getting into action cameras. Cam Kicks was totally cool with the idea and they said to check their website and put together a list of all the products that I might want to put in a package like this but first, you know, maybe I might want to take a look at their accessory starter kit. Um, it, it might have what you want, so take a look at that first, and if it doesn't meet your needs, then put together a list, it's cool. But why don't you start there and see what the accessory starter kit has to offer folks that are just getting started with action cameras. So I checked out the list of all the parts that were in the accessory starter kit, and I was pretty impressed. It seemed to cover a lot of different areas. You had uh, things for folks that want to use action cameras in the water, there were things for folks that want to attach action cameras to themselves, um, parts to attach action cameras to bikes and things like that. So all in all, uh, it, it was a pretty good kit. It is a pretty good kit. And we decided to just run with that rather than putting together something kind of ad hoc. Now when you open up the box, you're going to find um, lots of bags like this because um, the, the actual starter kit's put together with lots of other kits that they have uh, and they offer and sell. So it's not like they just tossed a bunch of parts in a box and said, you know, go have some fun. It's, it's individual packages and products that they sell that they bundled up together and put inside of this accessory starter box. So for example, let me explain what I'm talking about. When you open the box, you're going to find a grab and go bag. And this is full of thumb screws, buckles, and all kinds of things like that. There's also a super floater bundle and this has the, the floating handle and the floater that attaches to the action camera uh, rear door. There's also a chest strap to mount the camera to your, to your chest. Honestly, there's quite a few parts in this kit. So rather than going through every single one, I'll have a list down in the description of this video. If you have any questions or concerns, just leave me a comment and I'll get back to you and let you know what's inside the box and uh, help clear up anything that you might be uh, concerned about. So I thought it might be a good idea to maybe highlight a few of the items that I've been using so far uh, and that I thought were pretty cool. With the kit, you get this, uh, this Camp Kicks bag that you can put all the stuff in, all right? Um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a nice bag, it's pretty big, and you can put all your accessories in it. And then the top, uh, the top with the straps, they, they close, and then you can use these these little straps over here as shoulder straps so you can put everything in this bag and carry it with you and have all your accessories uh, right on your back. Another larger item that you get in the kit is this uh, camera and accessory case. It's for the Hero Pro um, cameras. This is a medium box. They've got a larger box that you could put more cameras and more stuff in, but I found that you can fit quite a bit in this box. I tested it out, I put my camera in there, I was able to put batteries. Most of the accessories that actually come with the kit all fit nicely because there's pockets for different different items and in the lid there's a little mesh uh, uh, pouch and then you can put more stuff in there. So this is a real nice box that put all your, uh, your camera and your accessories in. It's hard and it'll keep things safe. There's also this, uh, this small mount where you can mount the camera into it and then you can mount this to the handlebars on your bike. But the nice thing about it is you're not just limited to using this for a handlebar mount. You can do a whole lot more. I've used this mount to mount the camera in all kinds of different parts of my bike, allowing me to get different cool shots and different angles. So again, you don't have to just mount it to your handlebars. I've mounted the, uh, the actual device to my, uh, my seat post, and I got some cool rear shots and I was able to mount it to different parts of my frame and you can get different shots of like your suspension and things like that. So it's not, again, limited to just your handlebars. Another idea I used this for was when I was in the woods, I was able to turn a, a branch into a pole mount. So you can get these nice tall shots of your friends when they're riding by, um, way longer than a, like a selfie stick. You can, you know, we'll, we'll get as long a branch as you want and you can use that 
as a pole and then you can take this little adapter and mount it to the end and get some pretty cool angles when you're out in the woods. Now at first I just didn't think the floater accessories were going to get much play with me since I mainly record product reviews and mountain bike videos. Still, I, I kind of really wanted to test them out and I figured, you know, I live on this lake, I'll go out and I'll give them a shot and see how they work, but let me tell you, after I put my toes in the cold water, I had a whole other idea on what I was going to do. I decided the next best thing to do was pretty much just drop them in a bucket full of water. So as you can see, this highly scientific approach to testing seemed to get the job done just perfectly fine. Also, the floater that can be attached to the back of the camera door seemed to work out pretty nice as well. You can see the camera floated just fine with the floater attached to the back and I really don't have any worries about using this in the water. That floater is going to keep it afloat and since both the floater and the handle are orange, they'll be pretty easy to find out in the water. Now there's also an extension pole that's great for selfies and things like that, but I wanted to take a moment and talk about this attachment because I read some comments about how it kind of wobbles. When you extend the pole, each section can be locked into place with just a simple twist. After you twist each section, this totally, totally eliminates the wobble and makes this a pretty nice accessory and it's, it's pretty stable and firm, like, like the wobble is all gone. You just have to twist each section and make sure it stays uh, locked. At first I thought this might just be a fluke, so I did contact Cam Kicks to make sure that this is exactly how the handle is supposed to work or the, the, the pole is supposed to work and that's what you do. You're supposed to take each segment and twist them and lock them into place. Just don't twist it too hard. You don't want to crank it. You just need to twist it a little bit and tighten each section up. But I'll eliminate the wobble and make it a, a, a real firm stick to use for um, selfies and things like that. Now personally I see this as a nice selfie stick, but for action cameras I prefer something you know a little bit longer. Uh, Camp Kicks does offer a premium telescopic pole that spans between 16 inches and 47 inches. I'd love to see that inside of this accessory kit, maybe as an upgrade at some point, but either way, I'll probably go and grab that pole. Now something else you get with the kit when you buy it, but doesn't actually come in the box, is the support of Camp Kicks. I mean, I've, I've emailed my contact all the time, and they're getting back to me with, with my questions and answers, um, letting me know if, if I'm using the product right, and um, heck, just even letting me put together this package or, or use this package to show you what's available for folks getting started. They're really interested in supporting folks with action cameras, whether you're just starting out or you're more advanced. They've got a good, um, a good array of parts and accessories, and they, they will support you. And um, if anything goes wrong, they, they got your back. They want to make sure you're happy with their products. Now, I want to thank Cam Kicks for uh, sending me this accessory kit so I can show it to you. Um, it, it's a real nice kit for folks that are getting started. Um, personally, I have a lot of these parts already, but I didn't have all the floaters. And there's a ton of other things I didn't even talk about. There's um, lanyards, there's uh, stainless steel uh, cords where you can make attachments to make sure your, your GoPro doesn't fall off or you don't lose it. I mean, there's a ton of stuff in that box as well. I'll put the list down below and I've got some pictures where you can see everything in the, uh, in the kit. So, you know, Cam Kicks, you guys have been great to me and I really appreciate you helping me out. Folks, if you have any comments, if you want to know more about what comes in the kit, just uh, leave them in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, you know, give me a thumbs down. That's cool. Just let me know what you're thinking. And of course, please subscribe to the Regular Guy Mountain Biking channel. It just, it's really nice to know that you like what I'm doing and I'll keep doing it because it does take a lot of time, but it's cool. I, I love doing this. And uh, if, if, it's, if it's good for you and I'm supporting you folks, then it's all the better. So um, that's pretty much about it. This is Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll talk to you later.